Hello everyone, Scoops here, another episode, actually a brand new episode in a brand new series called Crown Takers. This is kind of like a, a, a roguelike game, kind of like Sproggy Wood, a just game I just finished. Um, yeah, it seems pretty cool. Let's give it a go, new game. Uh, apparently you can only play easy, which is pretty convenient because all experience acquired by the hero and mercenaries during previous games is kept. You no longer need to defeat the boss at the end of each level. And I can't do normal anyway, so easy works for me. <laughs> So we can kind of, uh, yeah, grind up. Welcome to the lands, lands of the Duke of Esir. Uh, Esir. You are still some leagues away from the Duke's castle, but take care. Your adventure begins here. See, intro. Let's do it. Inside a room, at night, our hero is sleeping peacefully in his bed. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. It must be him. Wake up, son. Ah. Huh? Who's there? Uh, don't worry, it's me, your father, King Jandrik of Arias. I am speaking to you in your mind. What? My father? King Jandrik? In my mind? Yes, I am your father, and all those who share my blood have the ability to talk to one another, one another telepathically. That's it, I'm going crazy. Calm down! I am using what little remains of my vital strength to do this, so listen carefully. As you are probably aware, Duke Thomas of Azir has betrayed and deposed me. He is holding me captive in his dungeon as we speak. The dreadful wars between our armies have weakened the Duke's forces, if only for a short time. So it should be possible for a small group to infiltrate his castle and free me. But but I'm a nobody. I can barely plant turnips here at the farm. The blood of many great generals flows in your veins. I trust you completely. Your brothers have failed, but you will succeed. If you free me, I will reward you beyond your wildest dreams, and maybe one day your th my throne will be yours. Please hurry before the Duke executes me. My son, you are my only hope. Alright, so yes. Here we go. <laughs> Watchtower. So apparently this is all kind of randomly generated. Is there nothing here? Uh, time does go by, and you have gold. Um, let's see what I have here. There's a map with all the various steps to the end <laughs> and um, Inventory which I have all my stuff in here. I got yep yeah, all this kind of good goods and stuff Cool, I haven't really played a whole lot, so I haven't really figured stuff out. Let's actually can I talk to this witch tower? No, can I talk to the cottage? Yes, you come to a house that appears modest, but still sturdy these days four walls and a roof are something of a luxury Two skeletons are lying in the only room of the house you're in something must have happened here a long time ago And no one seems to have worried about it search uh, Despite the obvious poverty of the place a few surprises await you bravery potion restores one action point Don't know what those are and tainted meat. It seems pretty unwise to eat it, but desperate times call for desperate measures Take everything What is those so? Yeah, maybe it'll like give me food and Kill me, possibly. Wolves! Alright. As you arrive, you hear the growling of wild beasts. You start readying your weapons for the imminent fight. Alright, so yes, you get into your fight, and it's just like a turn-based game. So if I go here, I'm not really sure. Disguise allows positions to be swapped with a mercenary. That's pretty cool. And guard provides a bonus to dodge and allows you to retali retaliate on, your n on the next attack. Or I could use a potion. But I'll attack. Bam! Success! Victory! Uh, the last beast falls to the ground. It seems you made it out alive this time. I got a weapon rune. Now, I've got these runes before, and it says you can add to your weapons, like right here. Add runes to your equipment to upgrade it. But I can't do anything, so maybe I need to like get to like a vendor or something like that. Cottage. It may not be a fancy inn, but that small house in front of you would be perfect for taking shelter from the rain. The complete lack of furniture and spider webs covering the walls and ceilings suggests that the building has not been occupied for a while. Search it! Despite the obvious... yeah. Um, tools can be sold for a good price. Take everything! Um, let's go upwise. Ooh, another cottage. It's nighttime too. I don't know what that means. In the pale moonlight, you make out a tiny cottage not far from the path. Two skeletons, yes, two skeletons. Long time. Let's see what we got here. A uh, lockpick gives you entry to almost any place, and a book, which can be sold. Cool. One day has passed, and your enemies have become stronger. That sounds bad. All right, let's fight some wolves. My turn. Bam. Only minus two. Can I attack again? Oh, I can. No, I can't. Ugh. 
Oh, and he's going to move up and attack me too. Oh, this is not looking good. I'm going to be in a rough spot here. Um, I really hope I can... Oh, he's going to attack me. I think I'm dead. Minus four there. Can I take this guy out? I really hope I can kill him. Oh, nope, I can't. Oh, I can attack again. Whoo! That is lucky beyond belief. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, eat or be, and that's the way of the world. You've just proven that you're still at the top of the food chain. Armor rune, take everything. Okay, um, well, that didn't go well. Can I eat this meat? <laughs> yes, for him. Plus five HP. Whoo, that was lucky. All right, let's check out these Tomb of the Heroes. Uh, you enter a disturbingly quiet clearing. At the center, you can see the banners of heroes who fell during an ancient war. This place has been deserted for a long time, and even animals seem to avoid it. Approach it. As you advance towards the banners, you can hear the voice of the dead heroes. They already know everything about your quest and address you as if you are almost one of them. They could transfer their mis they transfer their mix their mystical energy to one of your companions. So I gain two levels. Oh, sick. <laughs> Oh, I can upgrade too. 7% um, critical, 1% strength. My strength to critical. 7% critical seems pretty good. Also strength. Oh, I've leveled up twice. Okay, cool. So apparently that carries over. What does this potion do? Restores one action point. Nice. Let's check out the inn. As you keep walking soaked and wet from the rain, you notice an inn to one side. A perfect place to dry your clothes and wait for the rain to stop. Alright, mercenary. Oh, can I hire someone? Ooh, Darian or Half Halfaris? I have picked up Darian before. Attacking there, the knocks my target hit. Um, and this guy can attack two different targets during Overwatch mode. Oh, cool. is this guy ranged probably? Yeah, let's see if I can hire this guy. Apparently I can. Oh, it didn't cost any money either. That's pretty cool. Uh, innkeepers. No, I don't need to rent a room. Waitress! We can buy some meals. Revives a mercenary. Ooh, I'm gonna buy some meat. And actually, I could sell some of this stuff, right? Um, that sells for money, too. Yeah. And then, uh, let's buy some more meat, just in case. And leave. And the blacksmith. Alright, blacksmith. Okay, so I can upgrade things. My short sword, if I have iron, I can upgrade it. Or if I have cloth for my armor. In the merchant, I can buy those things. Huh, okay. I really wish I knew what I could do with these things. <laughs> armor, one strength. I'm assuming if I throw something here, it throws it out. Yeah, it seems weird. I don't quite get it. I can double click it, I can right click it, I can drag it over, I can double click this. Right click that, no. Maybe over here. No. Well, I'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll see what happens next. Alright, I guess I gotta head into step two now. I'm ready! Got all the food in the world. The yogel. Hello, stranger. May I request your help on behalf of Polos, the god of light? Deserter from the king's army have plundered a temple not far from here and turned bandit. Unfortunately for them, they have stolen the relic that the monks pledged to protect, and I'm going to wrest it from their filthy grasp. Ha ha! So will you help me? Yes. In that case, let us be on our way, companions. My faith will destroy mountains as well as my fist. Oh, cool. Does that mean I have... Oh, he's not actually on the... He's not actually part of the party. <laughs> Crud. All right, well, whatever. Come on, wolves. Now I'm gonna fight you, I'm not gonna feed you. Are you kidding me? All right, so this guy is right here. I guess I might as well just smash attack. Right? Yeah, can I do it again? Choose a direction. Is this how you're facing? Yeah, I'll face that way. Okay, can he? Has a three tile range, so if I stand here, can he attack? Oh man, I don't know how to like move the camera. <laughs> so, like, it can be kind of tricky to see. Can I, like... Nice. Ah, health is... So you only get ex... Oh, no, he got experience, too. But he just needs way more, because he got that level up. Nice! Uh, last be... Yes, I'll take that rune. Uh, blacksmith? There must be a way to 
level up. Can I do this or something? Like, well, that'd be armor. Add runes to your equipment to upgrade. Can I add it here? Eh. Ah, oh, I have no idea. There's got to be a way. Maybe? Actually, hold on. No. If I buy an iron and, say, a cloth as well. Sure, why not? And hit the blacksmith. If I upgrade it... Oh, now there's a rune spot. There we go. That's what it is. And an uh, armor dodge. I'll add an armor to it. Cool. Okay. It makes sense now. I wonder if that carries over, if it's just the experience per playthrough. I guess if it was kind of everything, it would be a bit sucky. Um, let's see. Mercenary. Yes. Oh, now it requires gold. Kill 30 enemies with the mercenary? Yeah. So I won't bother with that. Rent a room? No, I don't have any money anyway. Doesn't really seem like much of a purpose anyway. <laughs> Let's check out this cottage. Uh, in the pale moonlight, you make out a tiny cottage not far from the path. The humble layout of the room betrays the poverty of its occupiers. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest here. Well, I'll search it anyway. Alright, I got a mushroom, a boletus impolitus, the most intriguing mushroom, and strength potion. Alright, um, let's check the map here. Alright, if I go north, there's a dead end, so I'm going to take that way, just to see what there is. Alright, cottage. Oh, here we go. Okay, you stumble into a fight between two countrymen over a donkey that was grazing in the wrong field. It seems it was attacked by some dogs for no apparent reason. Let's step in. Once you have issued your judgment, the peasant who was found guilty gets carried away and punches you in the face. <laughs> uh, the other one thanks you and gives you something. So you lose two experience, but I get a health potion and some, to and some tools. <laughs> that seems kind of worth it. <laughs> so what am I, what is my health at? Four, six, yeah. Let's use this mushroom. For hero. Yay, you get food. Nice. Alright, check out this cottage. Um, thick layer of dust covers the furniture. The place looks unoccupied and is quite un unlikely to offer any interest. Anything of interest. Oh, except I got a ton of stuff. Cloth, nice. Speed potion. I'm gonna take everything. Wicked. <laughs> I like where this game is going. Apparently it gets very grindy. That's one thing that the... It has a pretty... um up and down reviews on Steam, and apparently that's just kind of one of the things. It's, it can get very grindy, but uh, and kind of unfair and challenging, but I kind of like the idea of that, so. All right, uh, I feel like I should make you guard. If I dodge bonus allows you to retaliate on the next attack. Actually, cancel? Can you move up there? Oh, crap. I used, wasted one of his turns, didn't I? What I'm thinking is that I can set that guy up and then attack from a distance. Bam! And I want you to look that way as well. So what do you got? What do you got for me, wolf? Oh god, he's coming from that direction. Ha! Oh, so the armor get, just gives you one kind of counterattack. Sick. Smash. So the armor gives you one kind of uh, extra life, really. So yes, range attack. What else do I have? Increases range tile by one tile. Allows to shoot over obstacles. Must be dismantled to move again. Okay, so you can kind of hunker down. And Overwatch shoots at the first two enemies moving within your attack range. Ends your turn. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But I'm just, I think I can just plink this guy away. And yeah, I see you have two actions per turn. So, cool. We're learning. <laughs> We're getting there. And he, how Ferris got to level two. Sick. Take everything. Yes, more runes. Um, strength and health. You shouldn't be getting hit, so I'm going to give you strength. Up to the watchtower. Uh, there is an imposing tower along the path. It allows the garrison to secure the surrounding area and acts as their camp. As you open the tower gate, you discover an upside-down room. There's a huge dark hole in the ground, so big that no more than two men can walk side by side. <laughs> Let's enter the tunnel. Ah, what? Okay, well, this does give me an opportunity to go back to the blacksmith, because I want to do that. Um, yeah, you can upgrade his armor. No, oh, wait, his armor. Yeah. And I'll give you a weapon rune. Sure, you get 10% dodge. Why not? Should I upgrade this anymore? I could buy another... 
yeah, one of those. I could sell these tools because I don't need them. And then upgrade his weapon as well. And give him plus more strength. Perfect. We are going. We are kicking butt right now. Although it's going to be daytime or night again soon. Ah, monolith. As you get closer to the monolith, you notice something peculiar. The wind seems to have calmed, birds have fallen silent, and even time seems to be under the influence of the marble stone. Touch the monolith. Uh, as you take a few steps toward the monolith, a red glow appears around Helferis, and he loses two experience or two HP. Well, that's kind of a pain. Check out this cave. Thanks to your torch's flickering glow, you find the entrance of a cave. It is wide enough to let your group walk inside. Just looking at this paunchy appearance, you realize that the stranger who took shelter in the cave is not a warrior. Uh, the big crates harnessed to his horses further ahead seems to indicate that he's a traveling merchant. Oh, we can shop. Cool. Let's see. Get some runes. Reducing the skills cooldown by one turn. No, no. Reduces incoming damage. Um, that sounds good, but forget it. Oh, man, we are fighting the wolf. Hold on, no. I'm going to go <laughs> up here, the watchtower. Uh, behind the curtain of pouring rain, you make out the outline of a watchtower. The tower has been cleared out and is hard to tell when it, when was the last time it houses, housed visitors. In any case, it looks clean and there are no holes in the roof. Search. Um. Yes, 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 we find some things. Speed potion, book, it's going to be sold, and another lock pick. Sick. All right, let's take on this wolf lord. Apparently I'm getting exhausted. <laughs> uh, you hear a low and deep breathing. Suddenly a hulking black wolf emerges from the bushes a few steps in front of you, followed by another smaller wolves, by other smaller wolves. The wolf lord and his pack are on the hunt and they have just found their prey. Ow! <laughs> All right, I need to I feel like I should like back up. I'm gonna move back here and guard. Yeah. That away. And I'm gonna make you go over here. And yeah. Oh wait, can you not shoot? Yeah, let's overwatch. And look at that away. Ooh. This is gonna be bad. Ooh, minus two. I think I might be toast here. This is probably going to kill me. Oh god, there's another one. <laughs> Counterattack. Yeah! Six, you dead! Whew! Alright, you need to... This is a potion, right? Restore HP, action point, movement range. Yeah, use that, because you're pretty low on life. Ah... Uh... What should I do? What should I do? Um, I could get him to go really far away. Two, plus two movement range. Yeah, let's do that. Can you not move any further then? Oh, he's going to get attacked. That's what he's complaining about. So if I move, I'm going to get blasted. Minus two. Crap! Oh, now that wasted a turn. Mm. Um, should I do overwatch or just attack? Yeah, let's attack him. Get him low on life. And then face that a direction. Huh, should I go up? Yeah, I feel like I should go try and attack this guy. I'll do 3 to 6 damage. So I won't kill him this turn, but I will kill him the next turn. We'll defend against him. This guy is in a bad spot, though. Yeah, he's probably dead next turn. Oh, they just keep spawning? Oh, crap! <laughs> I think I may be dead. <laughs> I did not realize they kept spawning. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit behind. Crap! He's dead, though. And he's dead, though. And that didn't take up any movement? Oh, that's interesting. I guess I could just kind of hope I can out outpower him. Oh, we dodged it. Are you kidding me? Counterattack. Yeah, choose a direction. Cool. I did not realize he was continuously spawning buddies, so that's unfortunate. And I think I may be dead. 
Oh god, he's got guard. I can move around to his back. I got no other potions, right? Restores an action point, plus two strength. Sure, why not? Let's blast him. Let's see what he can do. If I got lucky, I could do it. But I did not get lucky. And I is dead. Ha ha ha! You have failed in your quest to free the king, but all hope is not lost for the kingdom, as you are not his only child. <laughs> hey, that's the plot. That's why we can keep going, right? Alright, uh, that will be it for me today, but I just want to see what carries over. I saw the experiences. He's level 3 still. Um, I do not need to see the intro. Do I still have items, though? No. All that's gone. But I can do... say that. Cool! Alright, well... I think that will be it for me today. I hope you guys got a good uh, introduction to the game. I'm pretty excited to see where this goes. I think it'll be pretty fun. Maybe a bit grindy, but I can probably go off and grind on my own. <laughs> or maybe not. We'll see. But that will be it for me today. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye bye